Hi, this is Tom Glavin of the Atlanta Braves, and you're watching This Week in Baseball. And we continue with Baseball Is, presented by Chevy. This week, Baseball Is, a future Hall of Fame pitcher and his adoring fan. I'm a huge Maddox fan. He also happens to be former Mandolinist of the Year and punch brother, Chris Thiele. You gotta get my 31, man. Struck him out! Maddox struck him out. The easiest delivery of all time. You know, just the straight. Greg Maddox puts on another clinic. Maddox is one of those guys who doesn't have overpowering stuff. Just incredible control over a ton of movement. Outside corner, inside corner, down and away. In Maddox's best years, if he had you with two strikes, you were toast. Straight for the kill. You were absolute toast. Got it. What a job. He is the best, folks. Greg Maddox, man, it's amazing. And now that Greg is winding up his record-setting career in sunny San Diego, it takes Chris back to his baseball roots. The first game I went to was a Padres game. Ready for afternoon baseball in San Diego. My grandpa, he had Padres season tickets forever. We'd go see Benito Santiago throwing out runners from his knees. Santiago from his knees, got him! And of course, Tony Gwynn. Leading off of the Padres, right fielder number 19, Tony Gwynn. And though he'll always have a fondness for the Padres, Thiele's baseball passion has since moved east. I really latched on to the Cubs watching Harry Carey. Way back! It might be! It could be! It is! Holy cow! That was baseball to me. The ivy and the bricks, everything about it. You know, that, that team then was so lovable. Andre Dawson, Mark Grace, you know, Shawan Dunstan, and Ryan Sandberg. Um, my all-time favorite player. He's amazing. Easily the best around at that position. He's a great, you know, fundamentally sound ball player. I just, I really gravitate towards those players. Maybe that's because those kinds of players run in the family. My great, 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 great uncle was a tremendous ball player. A 331 lifetime hitter, Big Sam Thompson played 15 seasons in the late 1800s. Sam Thompson holds the record for uh, highest RBI per game, average at .923, one, one higher than Lou Gehrig, which I'm very proud of. He held the National League mark for RBIs in the season at 166 until Hack Wilson broke it. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame by the Veterans Committee in the 70s. Didn't make it into that first round with Owen Swagger and all those fellows, but he was a good ball player. I played for a little while, but I don't think I was ever good enough to decide to be a ball player over being a mandolin player. This week's State Farm Big League Blast is just Manny being Manny for the 500th time in his career. High drive deep to right center field. This will do it. Number 500 for Manny Ramirez. On the 31st of May, 2008, Manny Ramirez becomes the 24th big leaguer to hit 500 home runs. This Week in Baseball, presented by Aquafina, will be right back.